it going on? This is the new Jackson coming up right now in this review. Yeah! Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Steve Ricardo. What is shaking? Thank you so much. Hey, smash the like. Fucking smash that like right here in the corner. That'd be awesome. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and hit that bell. What's shaking, everybody? I'm your host. So, uh, let's talk about this Jackson. So, um, so much thanks to Long and McQuaid and Abbotsford for hooking me up with this one. As we watch a little video montage of this guitar and how it looks, I'm going to read some specs that I've gotten from the Jackson site in regards to this guitar. All right, so let's start off real simple. This is the JS Series Rhodes MAH JS32, the Amaranth Fingerboard. Again, another material for this. So as you're looking at this beautiful guitar, it is a swift and deadly affordable Jackson Series. They're about 600 bucks. The JS series uh, takes on an epic leap forward, making it easier than ever to own a great classic Jackson tone, looking at playability without breaking your bank account. Totally. Um, it's an awesome guitar, simply put. Uh, features include dual Jackson high output humbucking pickups with ceramic magnets and uh, voiceonic tone, three-way switch, uh, single tone, single volume, Controls and Jackson branded Floyd Rose double locking tremolo bridge system and dynamic response reliability. Ah, oh, totally, right? So, all right, this is the guitar. So, it's awesome. Uh, we have got the jumbo frets, 24 of them. The color is really cool. Um, side guitar, hey, how's it going? This is the side view, check it out. It's really cool. It's a light feel. I love the wood, it's cool. Um, I, you know, the more the guitar, uh, guitar companies are doing this, I think it's really great, it's pertinent, and it's not a bad piece. The neck feels really nice, there's no sticking or binding. I did a review on a, um, a Gretsch that had a little bit of stickiness in the neck, this is nice and smooth, it's a nice shred neck. Um, I didn't put the Floyders on, because I just want to play it as it is. I've got the Rhodes Anniversary issue that came out 2007, 2006. I love Floyd Roses and I love the bridges and I love these guitars. And with the Randy Rhodes ones, you know, you gotta watch out for the tip, right? So you always gotta be careful. Don't hit it, don't knock into the stuff. So anyway, let's uh let's run through some stuff on this thing and uh yeah, why not? So all right now I am at the uh bridge. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, let's go to the middle. <laughs> Let's go all the way up to the neck.
truly, um, I mean, it fits nice. It's comfortable to play. Not a lot of people like these and, and you know, the floor stuff, but I mean, honestly, it's not bad. It's, these ones do fit nicely. It's not a heavy guitar at all. Uh, it's great for a beginner. Um, I mean, I would use this live, no problem. No problem at all. It's got a nice feel to it. The construction's great. The, you know, the contrast with the natural wood, the gold and the black, I mean, it's, it seriously is stellar. I like how they did the, um, you know, the hook up in the top. I know some of the older ones still have them at the bottom. And then you got to put through your strap. But this one's nice. So overall, abundancy of this thing. It's got a nice, comfortable thing. You can get up right to your higher notes. Not too bad. It could be a little bit better. Maybe a little bit more contoured over here. But otherwise, you can reach without difficulty to where you got to get to. Um... <laughs> Not expensive at all. Like I said, in Canada, these things run for about $590, $600, bucks. Uh, probably cheaper in the States, of course. And you're getting a lot of guitar and a lot of nice classic look for that. I mean, you know, with the gold and the black, it really does set it apart. I'm surprised, you know, why this is even more expensive, but it's great for beginning level, getting into guitar playing into metal stuff. So uh, definitely a shredder of a guitar. You guys want to hear some drums on this, right? So why don't we do that? Okay. All right, so what I am running through is I'm running through my two notes with the George Lynch cabinets and my 5150 EVH 50 watt. All right? A little bit of delay in the background. <laughs> What can I say? <laughs> right? Ah, this is a total shredding machine. I love it. it it's, um, 
It's comfortable. It's good. I, I can't see anything bad about these guitars. Um, they might have been able to do a nice little opening in the back. But I mean, even the plate, the neck plate, it's, uh, it's cool. It's got the serial number on it now. Well, they used to have it on the neck, so now it's at the back, so it's, it's cool. I think it is. It's fucking, it's metal worthy, man. And who wouldn't want to, the visualist thing is pretty cool. Um, cool being the word of the day. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll fill them out as best as I can. Uh, otherwise, go check out your local Long McQuaid across Canada. And the U.S., probably like Guitar Center, Sam Ash, all those places. So overall, 100%, this is worthy of the metal, right? All right, guys. Um, I'm going to keep playing and enjoying this thing. I will catch you on the flip side. Thank you so much. I have been Steve. You guys have been awesome. <laughs> metal time. All right, catch you in the next video. Yeah.